Home appliance maker Volvac is an old fan of the International Import Expo because the company's participation during the last two years gave a solid boost to sales of its home cookers and vacuum cleaners. After first expo in 2018, Volvac's China sales rose 30 percent, while the second expo last year gave an additional growth burst of 41 percent. Consumption standards in China's first and second or even third tier cities are nearly the same as some Western countries or even world leaders. We think we can bring China consumption ideas to other countries and help promote our global connections. We're very confident about bringing in more investment in R&D and even moving some software development from Europe and the U.S. to China. Shoemaker Skechers gained such confidence from last year's import expo that it was sure to show up this year. The pandemic hurt Skechers' sales due to the closure of brick and mortar stores, but sales here recovered as China brought the pandemic under control. They jumped by double digits year on year in the second and third quarters. For consumption brands that depend on good publicity, the import expo plays a very important role. With the current um, COVID-19 impact and the uncertainty of political and economic and globally, I think China market is very important So for foreign brands like us. So it's a great opportunity to let everyone of us uh, to see uh, who Sketcher is and also it's a, it's a great opportunity to, to meet other vendors or to see the latest in the market. Chinese President Xi Jinping raised the concept of dual circulation this year. Domestic and foreign economies working together amid the global economic uncertainties. And holding events like the China International Import Expo is expected to further boost the concept. China has implied that the dual circulation concept is a long term strategy to sustain growth amid the COVID 19 pandemic and the threat of the rising unilateralism in the global economy. Domestic circulation or domestic demand aims to promote the upgrade of China's supply structure and strengthen the economy's resilience. But it also aims to energize international demand. And China has vowed to continue to expand the liberalizing policies and improve economic efficiency through external competition. And that's where the import expo comes in. If you think about the dual circulation, uh, I think it's a strategy that's <clears throat> suitable for the current world, um, which still faces a lot of uncertainty. Uh, we know that the Chinese economy is recovering well, uh, but also facing some challenges, in part because uh, a lot of regions outside China are still uh, in this uh, containing the virus mode. Nevertheless, Chinese economy is very much integrated with the global economy. And then in that regard, the CIE, this import expo, it's very important not only symbolically that holding this for the third year in a row, but also it's important for the world's, one of the world's largest economies, uh, trading uh, economies, and the economy that's leading the recovery uh, of, uh, from the pandemic to, to show the world uh, that China is open for business. And China is very open for business. 400,000 purchases from 112,000 companies registered for the Expo this year, and they are all shopping for imports right now. Chen Tong, ICS for CGTN, Shanghai.